Okay, now this is, like, you can't make this stuff up. Look. Welcome back. Casey's General, we're in, right outside of Paducah, Kentucky. Listen, today's video is gonna be my experience yesterday. Earned by time with DoorDash. Plus, I wanna show you, I wanna give a shout out to a channel, Joe Easy. I want you to go check out his channel. Really, I just found it. Really cool guy, he's almost at 2K subs. Go check him out, Joe Easy. Fellow gig worker, YouTuber, listen. This is his numbers from a day where he tested out. This is a community post he put up. Look at the numbers, look at the hours and what he got paid. Earn by time, listen y'all, it's a scam. I'm gonna show you a little clip for yesterday, my experience. DoorDash will do anything to get these crap orders delivered and to get you to think and feel and act like an employee. I was in Paducah, Kentucky today doing another gig. I do clinics, basketball clinics on the side. Listen, I, these apps will do whatever they can do to manipulate you, to get you to take trash, to get you to take crumbs. I share with you experiences as well as other gig tubers. He's real positive. Joe Easy's a more, much more positive guy than I am. And he's gonna continue to, I think, do these kind of experiments and see, listen, if you select earn by time, you're gonna make less money, I think. Let me know what y'all think. But at the end of the day, watch this video and let me know what y'all think. L look at what I look at what I got yesterday on my phone. Oh, and this is how we travel in the car with the baby going to Kentucky. Coming back from Kentucky. Enjoy the video. So in my area, you can get twelve dollars per hour with DoorDash. I turned it I turned the dash on now. Anyways, I'm on the earn per hour. And look. There's no price. There's no amount. You need your red car to pay for this. Raising canes, 3.7 miles. I see where it's going. You're earning at least $12 an hour plus 100% of the customer tips and peak pay starting from when you accept. This is bad. Like, so basically. So basically that order, you know, I'm going to pay for it. It's not going to take long. So I'm going to 3.7 miles, 5, 10. Probably 15 minutes that order will take me. That's a, my best guess, 15 minutes. I'm probably within a minute or two either way. So we'll call it 15 minutes, right? Um, do the math on that, 12 bucks an hour. Divide that by four, three bucks. That order would pay me $3. Now, what I'm saying is I have to assume that because I don't know if there's a tip on there or not. I have no idea. DoorDash is basically like here's another one chick-fil-a look at this this is how this is horrible this is and you don't know so basically you're just saying you know what i'll work for 12 bucks an hour and i'll cross my fingers that i'll get a tip i'll cross my fingers i'll cross them what the <laughs> oh man and then in my market, when you decline two in a row or you don't accept two, your dash ends. See? So you could go back in and do pay by order, so not the end of the world. But if you don't want to do the per hour or you or if you want to do it, but then you don't take the orders for whatever reason, current yeah, uh, switch to earn per order. See? So if you click on that, it's basically gonna have you switch to that. I'm at 58% acceptance. I haven't dashed in going on five weeks. So, yeah. Okay, now this is, like, you can't make this stuff up. Look, that's the order that they tried to send me. It's the same one, the Chick-fil-A, the second one, three miles, same house icon. So basically, there's no tip on that. There isn't, there's not. And that order is gonna take you like I said, 15 minutes or so, you're gonna make $3, $12, a quarter, you know, three bucks. But because it's been sitting around, now it's up to four. This is DoorDash's way of getting the crap orders delivered to the miserable clown, no tip, horrible human beings. This is their way for them to make their money and their percentage and the fees from the consumer, and then also the fees from Chick-fil-A. Now, does it mean some of the orders won't be good? 
but I'm just, it, it's not a coincidence. I turn it on and I'm, I know both of those orders had no tip on there. And think about this. DoorDash has been in trouble before for stealing tips. Some of you guys think they do steal tips. I don't really know. I haven't experienced that, but that's out there, right? So we don't even know how much the orders are paying because, yeah, maybe, okay, let's say I go to Raisin Cane's and it takes me an hour because whatever, they're busy and I wait. It's an hour from when I accepted it to when I dropped it off. I'm going to make 12 bucks, which is absolute crap. I know I'm at least going to make that, but if the customer didn't tip, that's what I make. They're guaranteeing me that, which is still horrible if you're making 12 bucks an hour in a st louis market and you're driving your car and using your fuel that is absolutely pathetic right but let's say the customer tipped 10 bucks how would i know that doordash could tell me they tipped nothing and they can pay me three dollars to spend 15 minutes to do it and doordash could keep the 10 bucks or they could give me five of it and keep the five there's no way of us knowing now there wasn't a way earlier when if you do per order, there's no way for you to know that either because they're controlling that type of money, right? But when you're getting paid by hour, then they really can because they, they're guaranteeing you twelve. So if you make twelve. It is what it is. I think DoorDash. Listen, it can be good, but I think it is a really scummy app sometimes, man. And all at this point, I've done so much of it. You just laugh at the games that they play. DoorDash will do anything to make themselves money and get the miserable people their orders delivered. They'll stop at no means. Drop a comment. Have you guys done earn by hour versus earn per order? Is it in your market? What is the dollar amount? As you see, it's in St. Louis. I think it's, uh, I think some people might have success with it. I think it's like I've been saying. Knowledge is power, guys. Listen, the, just let me know what you think. I would love to hear your comments down below. If you like this video or others, check out this one here. Consider hitting subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments.